Saturday night at the Fort Worth Convention Center. More than 9,000 fans pack the house to cheer on the hometown Brahmas. Even a few Dallas stars are watching. Actually, many of the fans here tonight came not only to see the Brahmas, but also the Dallas Stars. I'm not a hockey fan, but to see the Stanley Cup and the history behind it, it's enough to bring me out here. The Stars take to the ice in style during the first intermission. Number 12, right Former Stars goalie Andy Moog has something that belongs to the Stars, if only he can find it. I'm just going to take a look in the trunk here and see if I can come up with it. You just go with it. originally talked to the Stars and then we talked to the uh, Hockey Hall of Fame and they both uh, uh, agreed uh, after some persuasion. We talked to them a few times but uh, we were very fortunate the schedule worked out and we were able to get it over for this weekend. Some great teammates that I had the good fortune of playing with for several years uh, and I called on a favor and they all came over and uh, uh, hopefully they had a very good time. Pretty cool because I watched them win the game and everything and it was kind of cool seeing Belfort beat Dominic Kasich, one of the best goalers, and it's pretty cool. You've been lifting the Stanley Cup a number of times. Aren't you getting tired of it by now? It's getting old. We're going to give it back to Toronto, and hopefully we'll get it again in June. Now, it's not bad luck after the new season started to, to keep celebrating at the Cup. No, it? it's a year-round thing, so uh, until someone takes it away from us, we'll try to enjoy it as much as we can. Tonight, the stars let loose and have fun. <laughs> but tomorrow, it's back to work towards the goal of repeating as champions.